I'm out of breath because I just ran up the stairs, but I got this amazing package from Loving Tan. You guys know they're like my favorite self-tanner, the only self-tanner that I use. They sent me this really gorgeous Von Star necklace. I've always wanted a piece of Von Star jewelry. I feel really grateful um, that they sent me one. I, just, I can't believe it. I was so excited. I like screamed when I opened the box, but I'm taking a before and after picture. This is what my body looks like before and I'll show you what it looks like after when I'm all done tanning. Whenever you guys self tan, for those of you guys that have never self tan before, you have to use a mitt. It's recommended that you use a mitt. It's gonna go on a lot smoother and less streaky. I do not get commission if you guys buy this, just so you know. But if you do use my code, um, you get a free mitt with your purchase because they don't, it doesn't come together. So yeah, just thought I'd let you know. So I'm going to show you guys, you just shake it up really good. By the way, this has no parabens, no alcohol. It's made in Australia and it is amazing. So yeah, here we go. Comes out like this foam and then you just put it all over you. This is the ultra dark though. I don't know if I should be doing the ultra dark because I literally have not self tanned in like a really long time, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna get naked for the rest of this. <laughs> so I'll see you guys when I'm all done. So I just finished filming some videos, which I'm really happy about. Now we're getting ready to eat some lunch. It's a very healthy lunch that Trav made. Looks like this. And then my pills, the rest of the pills I need to take. I was going over my list of things I need to like take and everything. And then I went ahead and made some more of these. Um, even though I'm missing some stuff, but we're gonna reorder it. This is, in case anyone's wondering, I take the Garden of Life Vitamin Code Raw Prenatal. Brie actually actually told me about these and they're really good, I like them. So, but just make sure you get a stool softener because when you take all these pills or even just these, um, they can make you constipated. So I also take like stool softener. So that is the prenatal vitamin that I take. The DHA that I take uh, is this Diva Vegan, you know, whatever. It's like a vegan DHA one. And this is really good too. I take two of these a day. This is the calcium that I take uh, from Douglas Laboratories. And I think we get this on Amazon. This is the vitamin D that I take. Normally I take 5,000 I use, but um, my doctor says I can only take 25. Or no, they say I can take up to 4,000, I think. But um, yeah, so I just have been taking these because I'm pretty low in vitamin D. I think a lot of people are, but these are the... Oh, okay, so... Okay, thank you. Okay, so that... That makes sense. My um, prenatal one has 1,400 and this one has 25 IU. So it comes out to right underneath 4,000, which is what my doctor said I should be taking. Nothing over 4,000 for vitamin D for whatever reason. So this is the vitamin D one that I take. Okay, so it is now, I don't know what time it is, hold up. It is now 4.34 and we just finished doing some work. Travis is still doing a little bit more work. I think I'm gonna take a shower and take this makeup off and then uh, probably lay down for my back for a little bit and then I think we're gonna run some errands because I'm out of pomegranate juice. I need to get some more raspberries. Um, oh, you know what I've been eating every day that I don't think I told you guys is a Brazil nut. I have one of them because it has selenium and selenium is supposed to be good for implantation. So these are the ones that we get. I don't know where they're from. Probably Trader Joe's maybe. I don't know. Let's set you guys down. But you don't want to eat too many of these. So I just eat one. So I just eat one of those and then um, that's like really good for you. It's kind of like having a vitamin, I guess you would say. By the way, if you're wondering what's on my lips, it's my lipstick in cake and then I just put a lip pot over it. So it's like kind of shiny. Um, and I love this color. Like I'm so obsessed. I know it sounds like really conceited, but I'm so obsessed with my own lipstick. I think it's so pretty, especially because when I was really pale, like and didn't self tan, I thought it was really beautiful. And then on tan skin, I feel like it looks really beautiful. Dark skin, it looks. I think personally, it looks so pretty on like every skin tone. And I'm so proud of myself. 
I know, so it sounds bad, but like <laughs> when you work hard on something, it's nice to like appreciate your own hard work. I'm feeling really good today. Yesterday, I think I told you guys I was in a lot of pain. I literally was on the couch all day with a heating pad on my back and my stomach. It was also the day that I was supposed to ovulate, and this sounds weird, but like because I don't have my tubes anymore and because I've been stimming, meaning like stimulating my um, ovaries to produce like more follicles and stuff, I think because they have nowhere to go or like they're big or like, I don't know, because I think things are like different in my body now and so much has happened down there and just like kind of traumatized area, you know, with like a lot of scar tissue and just like things that are not normal that went on down there that I think like when I ovulate now, especially with this cycle, this IVF cycle because of all the meds and stuff I was on, it was so painful for me and I wasn't expecting that. Like they didn't tell me it would be painful. I don't know if it's painful for everyone, but just me personally, I was in a lot of pain yesterday to where I couldn't do anything. And I was planning on shooting all day yesterday and I couldn't do shoot at all. Thankfully today, I'm like 100% better. It like went away. Um, so now all that's hurting me is my back, which my back hurts me every day because I have chronic back pain from when I broke my back. But yeah, that's kind of like where I'm at with everything. I'm sorry I haven't filmed every day. I know I've been bad about that. Um, it hasn't much been like going on, you know? So not much to keep you guys posted on. The medicines I feel totally fine on. I think they make me a little moody here and there and I have hot flashes for sure. But so far, I'm totally good. I uh, haven't like had anxiety, which I was really worried with the prednisone. They say it makes you kind of anxious. Um, I have terrible like generalized anxiety disorder and panic disorder. Haven't had, it hasn't caused me to have anxiety. In fact, I feel fine. I haven't had anxiety at all, which is nice. Maybe it's like helping with that. I'm not sure, but um, so yeah, no complaints guys, uh, especially today. I feel great. I was able to work, get stuff done and uh, feeling good. So I can't believe it's like literally three days away. <laughs> I'm like so excited and hopeful and you know, all those like good emotions. I'm not even nervous today about it. I think I'm just like more excited. And so, yeah, <sighs> can't believe it. Like I honestly can't believe it. I'm gonna be pregnant until proven otherwise starting on Friday. That's so crazy to think that. Uh, I hope this works, I really do. So anyway, I'm going to jump in the shower, take this makeup off, and then I will talk to you guys later. Got pretty hungry, so I made a little snack, some avocado toast. This is really good. I just mash up avocado and then add salt, pepper, and garlic on some toasted sourdough bread, and it's really good. So I'm gonna eat that. I'm currently cleaning out my pajama drawer. I actually have two of them. Uh, and I just folded all the clothes so I can like look at them and touch them, and then I've already gotten rid of some of them. It's really hard to get rid of my pajamas. I don't know why, but I've already finished like this drawer. So this drawer is just like my beanies, some phone cases, and like a little, card holder I finished this drawer which this drawer is my sports bras socks these are like long socks short socks underwear um, and then like some gloves over here so yeah I got rid of a bunch of stuff there's a little bit more stuff in the back but and then this drawer is all my bathing suits so I have eight bathing suits. I got rid of a bunch. This drawer is just my three scarves. And then over here, um, these are just like lint rollers and some stuff like that. I haven't gotten to go through this drawer yet. So I have to get rid of a bunch of stuff in this drawer. And then also, let's see. Oh my god, this drawer is a disaster. These are, okay, I lied, I have three pajama drawers. So I have a pajama drawer there. I have my onesie drawer here, which I can't fit any more onesies in there. And I have a really hard time getting rid of my onesies. And then this drawer is what I have taken out and is all folded on the bed. So now I'm gonna go through this one because I forgot about this drawer. It's also a pajama drawer. So I have a lot of stuff I need to go through. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so I just took out that bottom drawer, found two more onesies, and 
then I have all of this. So I need to figure out and really condense down what I'm going to get rid of. But this is probably going to be the hardest part, my pajamas, because it's like basically what I wear every day, to be honest. And I have a really hard time parting with really comfortable, cozy pajamas. So I'm going to do my best. A break from doing the clothes. So I just left them all out there and I'm going to straighten my hair. So this is what it looks like before. And I'll show you what it looks like after. This is my hair after. I hate having my hair poofy. It's so uncomfortable for me. So I only straighten my hair once a week and I only wash my hair once a week. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Oh, it feels so good to have clean, straight hair. So now I'm back to this mission. I'm going to go through these clothes, figure out what I'm going to donate and put on Poshmark and then keep. So here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, so I've been working on this for a while. I did end up finishing this drawer. I just put this picture in here because we have um, people coming to clean the ducks tomorrow. And so um, I need to put like all the stuff that was on the dresser away so it doesn't get dirty. So that drawer is done. And then this drawer is the drawer I'm in the middle of still doing. This drawer is done. And oh, I already showed you that drawer. This drawer is also done, the onesie drawer. Um, so really, ugh, these dressers are so old, you guys. I've had these for like 13 years. So the only other drawer I have left is this drawer. There's not very much stuff in there. So then I'm all done with my dresser drawers, which I'm really happy about. But I was taking a little break because I started to get hungry. It's almost like, I think it's like 4.45. So I'm making a really delicious meal. I'll show you guys what I'm making. So I have some mushrooms for sauteing, some carrots that I'm sauteing. And then I already sauteed onions and potatoes that I put in this bowl. Travis is over here working on the fireplace, so that's exciting. Hi, honey. There's Bandit. We put our little uh, chest in here. We have a rug coming, so I'm excited to get that. And then that chest is the same coffee table chest we've had at our apartment. But they're actually taking this table out, and we're getting a new table. We're going to be going to Ikea tonight. I'm so excited. I'm gonna finish cooking and organizing my clothes and I'll see you guys a little bit later. So here is what my dinner looks like. I put some chickpeas in for protein, potatoes, carrots, onions, and mushrooms, and that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. Finally all done up here and the drawers are done. So I think the last one I showed you was this one so that's all done and I actually I know it looks like there's still a lot of clothes in here there are what I'm gonna do is wear what I wear the most and then when I notice I'm not wearing something I'll donate it but these are so hard for me to part with and then all the stuff I'm donating and putting on Poshmark which it's not gonna be on Poshmark for a while but um, our all these are here it's actually a lot more than it looks it's just because all of them are like folded really nicely but it's like a whole pile, so. And you don't even wanna see this room. Are you kidding? Oh my God. This room is like the storage room right now. So we'll just shut that, keep that closed. I'm sure most of you guys know these videos have been pre-recorded. <clears throat> For those of you guys that didn't know that, now you do. Uh, I wanted to be able to have like some free time and really kind of, wow, it's so pretty. Hold on, let me interrupt this broadcast of course it's not coming up as good on camera but it's so beautiful it's like so bright hot orange what i was trying to say is that i pre-recorded a bunch of videos and have them like scheduled to go up so that i can during this transfer time like be as stress-free as possible so that's what i'm doing and i'm just trying to occupy my time by like doing productive things that I want to do that I never have time to do because I'm always working all the time so hopefully that helps with my stress levels because I know that's like a huge part of like you know helping to get pregnant so that's basically it um this video is kind of long so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it but um thank you guys so much for watching I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video